Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hey, Soapbox Nation. Thank you for joining me for episode 69 of Soapbox Daily. Hey, I'm your host, Matt Morgan, and it is Thursday today, and I hope everybody is having a marvelous day moving forward. I know it's only the beginning for some of us, but um, hopefully it's starting off pretty good and continues to be going well. How has this week been for you? It's day four of the work week. How has your integrity been? You being the positive example and being the change the world needs are you keeping your integrity in check well here's hoping so otherwise it's always an onward process an onward struggle but we can do it so today we're discussing what advice would you give your younger self if you could that is our topic for today what advice would you give your younger self if you could well first advice i'm going to give you at this point younger self or older self is hey please check out getoffmysoapbox.com for more information on this show of soapbox daily and also a long format show of get off my soapbox we had a pretty important topic last night on get off my soapbox feel free to check that out it was a good important topic for the world about women's rights and i think it's definitely worth checking out it uh brings attention it's weird that we still have this struggle going on. But let's get into today's show. What advice would you give your younger self if you could? I mean, we've all wished that we could go back in time and warn our younger selves about what the future brings. I mean, I was thinking about this the other day when I was working and I ended up going over some list in my, my head about things I would go back and tell myself if I had the opportunity. I mean, we've all had these regrets. We've all had these decisions. We've all had these ideas that have come in our head of, you know, if I if I did this differently, if I did that differently. But I just wanted to touch basis on a few things that I would definitely bring light of telling myself if I could go back and tell my younger self. So let's just go over a few things. I mean, I, I think at first and foremost, don't romanticize the future so much. That would be the biggest thing. I mean, I, thinking that, you know, with age comes freedom and all that. I, I kind of was so in a rush to grow up and get older so I could have the freedom to do thing. I could do whatever I wanted. I don't have to have the house rules. I don't have to have my parents rules. I don't have to do all that stuff. And I romanticized it so much that I just, you know, when I actually got there, it was just like, oh, all right, this isn't what it's all cracked up to be. (laughs) I mean, getting older isn't the end all be all solution to, to everything. It's just more responsibility. I mean, that's when you have to put on the adult pants and do what you have to do in order to survive. So that would be the biggest thing. Don't be in a rush to get there. Don't be in a rush to grow up. Don't be in a rush to like enjoy your youth. Next thing would be, of course, is life is too short to care about what other people think. I spent too much time growing up, and I, I think most of us do, worrying about too much about what other people think. You know, it, it, this would be a tough one for my younger self to hear because it's easier said than done. As a matter of fact, I'm sure I've heard this many times when I was younger and thought that very thing. I grew up always caring what other people thought. And as much as I try to tell myself I didn't care, there's always a small portion of us that does care. But if I could go back and tell myself, hey, don't worry so much about it. And I think the best advice I got later on in life was my, my friend Jody said, hey, what's it going to matter in five years? I think it was the best advice I ever received from anybody. So what's it going to matter in five years? So I wasted too much time worrying about others. And speaking of others, comparing yourself to others. Grass is always greener, you know. Worrying about comparing yourself to others. Oh, well, they do this. They dress like this. When I, when you're young, you don't realize that everybody's going through the same struggles. Everybody's going through the same stresses. Everybody growing up has to go through a lot of similar things. You know, I mean, again, easier said than done, especially considering we have a lot of insecurities growing up. And you don't real realize it as much as you are comparing yourself to the guy you think is cool, the girl you think is cool. They're going through the same struggles. You don't realize it. Ah, let's see what else is there. Yes. So I guess the other thing would be is don't be afraid to ask for help when you're younger. Don't be afraid to ask for help. More often than not, you know, people in your inner circles are eager to help you and you just got to ask for help. But, you know, we're all proud when we're young. We think we have it all figured out. But asking for more help to guidance, especially help from the generations that have already been there, would kind of help speed things up. If I could go back and tell myself, hey, don't be afraid to ask for help. Get yourself further along. So let's get into some other areas of look before you leap. It would be some really good advice I give myself because I made some really rash decisions, especially with a couple marriages. And I should have stepped back and taken a, a better look at stuff and before I made that leap. So another other advice. A couple other points here. Savor the moments would be some advice I'd give myself. We keep thinking when we're growing up that 
are, these opportunities and moments will not end. Like we just think it's going to be one after the other after the other. I would give the advice to myself, savor the moments, enjoy the moments. Don't rush it as a checklist. Don't rush it as, oh, something I've accomplished. Don't take experiences as a conquest. Savor it, savor it, enjoy it, make the most of it. Because there's nothing worse than wanting to go back to something you had an experience with and rushing through it just as something that you've completed and checked off a list. And I guess last but not least, think about the future a little more. Stay in school. Stay in school, study hard, get a jump on life. Because I kind of had a rough go of it leaving school earlier than going back later on in life. So my advice, stay in school, finish it sooner when you're young. And that way you don't have the struggle into your 20s and then have to come back and readdress it later. Get it done when you're young. Oh, I could probably go on with a few other things that I could think I have to tell my younger self, but here's here's a you know a good starting point. Oh, last but not least, take a good look at the, tr- the realness of people. Try to see somebody's true colors instead of grabbing on to friendships and relationships so tightly. Try to see people for their true colors and don't chase people. You know, if they want to be in your life, they're going to be in your life. Don't chase people. I'm going to wrap this up because I can go on. I can think of a few other points, but we might pick this up again in the future. Hey, I want to thank you much for tuning in today. Hopefully some of this was helpful. What would be things that you would like to tell your younger self? Come on, come over on Twitter and let me know at Mad Soapbox. Please share your opinions or send me a DM or even send me an email. Contact information is on getoffmysoapbox.com. Love to hear from you. Hey, I'm your host, Mad Morgan. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Always a privilege having you here. Always enjoy making these episodes. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for our Friday episode. Till then, hope you have a marvelous Thursday moving forward, a marvelous day. Keep your integrity in check. Don't forget that. And I will see you next episode.